everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's super, super rare find. This car uh, is very dear to, to the dealership here, and I'll tell you why. Not only is it a spectacular piece, but it's a, a ridiculously low production piece. So, for instance, they almost made 300,000 cutlasses that year. 300,000 just cutlasses. They made 700,000 Oldsmobiles, right? 300,000 cutlasses. This is one of 1,029 built. 1,029 built, how many are left? Half of that, right? And how many are left with matching numbers and in this condition? So the likelihood of seeing this car ever again at a car show or something like that is almost non-existent. This is an amazing piece. We're gonna spend a few minutes walking around seeing all the cool stuff that came with it, uh, the quality of the build, the paint, the interior and everything. I can't wait to get started. All right, so let's talk about some things on this car in particular, all right? So it doesn't matter whether you believe it should be 442 or it should be 442, right? The simple fact is it's a four, a four, and a two. And why is it a four, four, and a two? It's a four barrel, four speed, or turbo 400, okay? Dual exhaust, right? Because if you got an automatic, it would obviously wouldn't be a four speed. So that's how they were able to make that still work in there. And this package in 1972 was a pretty cool option package. Here we have, uh, the correct wheels and polyglass tires here. Why is this a correct wheel? Well, it's because depending on the color of the car, Oldsmobile painted the wheels to match the body. Yellow cars and red cars did not get color match wheels. There's a couple other colors too. I just didn't want to ramble on. But anyway, um, so there you see that. Period, correct, Goodyear polyglass tires. Like this is a pretty authentic car, right? The paint on it is really uh, significantly nicer than the factory would have done in 1972. And this is my favorite part is when they do stripes on cars and they clear over top of them. This is really, really nice. This way you can wash and wax the car as much as you want, right? Without worrying about tearing the corners of the stripes. It's got the hood pins, hood locks, whatever you want to call them. Um, fresh air induction here, and that's part of the car. And the last part I want to talk about, first off the grill and all the good stuff that goes on here, but the quality of this paint. It is beautiful. It looks great in video. It looks great in the pictures, but out on the road, outside of these other supermodels that are here, it looks spectacular, and I'd like you to take a second just to read and see all of the detail, all of the words, everything is so crisp in here. The picture of the car, that's the kind of thing you should be looking for when you're looking for quality of paint. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because you may want to go to a car show, you may just want to look at it in your own garage or whatever. Some things that stand out that are important that make cars more valuable than others. For instance, this is a real steel hood right here. Uh, we're told it's not a reproduction, all right? tower clamps on here and you say tell what's the big deal about tower clamps uh, we're talking about clamps right in the in the contents of a restoration it's these little things that make a restoration better than other restorations that means that somebody put some extra time into it right we have the battery topper here we have gm hoses it's a factory air conditioned car right this air cleaner here works the way it's supposed to right when the car is running the flapper door is closed so in case there's rain or something like that it doesn't get inside the air cleaner and then when you floor the gas right the vacuum drops and so the lid itself drops and lets all the fresh air come in here and it's sealed to the hood right here and you get all that good power instead of taking this hot air from the engine the good stampings from uh, uh, the engine codes are here. We have power disc brakes. We have power steering. Lots of things we forget to ask about in these muscle cars because there are a lot to work. If you don't have power steering and power disc brakes, uh, a muscle car is very difficult to work and it's something you definitely, definitely want to have. All right, so the back end of these cars here, the trumpet exhaust here with the cutouts in the bumper itself, right? That's a pretty cool feature. You know, most cars didn't have... Uh, the cutouts actually in the bumper. They had them in the, in the splash pan that went below. So this is what really makes a 442 or 442 stand out the way it's supposed to. I don't care about all that. I care about the fact that this car, the detail stuff is done. I mean, the detail, detail, detail stuff is done. Why is that a big deal? Because that gives you an idea of the kind of car you're getting, okay? This trunk light, look at this, watch. Works just like it's supposed to. Just like it's supposed to has a matching spare tire with another Goodyear polyglass in here. The jack is still detailed nicely. The wheel is the correct color. The mat in here is in beautiful shape. The trunk is splatter coated the way it's supposed to be. These gaskets right here are all nice and supple. It's the way it's supposed to be. It's show quality. You could take this to a show, show some people, open the hood and the trunk of this car. People will be very, very impressed because the detail has already been done for you. 
All right, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the fact that if you wanted to, right, you could add the rear wing here, right? It doesn't typically detract from the value of the vehicles because it's a nice addition and you could get it from the factory, so we'd be putting the factory one on there. Some people love a wing. I think a wing looks great on a car, uh, but again, it's up to you to decide whether you want that. We can also do that here. Not a big deal, just let us know. All right, listen, so we've experienced a lot of restored cars in the past, and I want to show you just a few things to me that says some cars are restored better than others. This is one of them. Listen to this for a second. This is a convertible. Typically, you would never get a door that sounded that solid. The simple fact is that these lights are on inside here as well, okay? Uh, and you say, well, Tone, aren't those supposed to work? Yes. Key and buzzer works. The key and buzzer works, right? Is it annoying? Yes but it's designed to be annoying, so you don't forget your keys in here. It says that somebody did the extra effort to do that, right? When I look at this car and I see the black buckets and the stereo, it also has the gauges here. This has a tick-tock-tack dash in it, so meaning that it has the clock and the tachometer in here. Go ahead and ask me real quick, is the clock working? Yes, the clock is working. Another small thing that says, this car is restored a little bit better than others, okay? Again, some of the restoration stuff in here is beautiful. However, like for instance, when you open the console, there's a light that comes on inside the console. That's working, right? You say, well, Tony, isn't that supposed to be working? No, 99% of the cars didn't work two years after they were new, and then most people never go through the effort of making that work. Even this right here, glove box light works the way it is. The other option you can do too, if you want to, this is the original factory AM FM radio, okay? stereo. A lot of times people ask us to hide a digital sound system inside the glove box. That way you keep the dash all looking stock, but you can stream your phone, Bluetooth, all that stuff, the music from your phone onto that through the stereo system, keeping it all stock. This is, look, this is the original service decal, right? The original tire pressure decal. All that stuff is still here in its place like it's supposed to. It's a piece of history, man. I love this stuff. All right, so we close up this video. We talked about mirror finish, sunfire, yellow paint with these great looking black stripes that are clear coated over. Uh, the wheel and tire package, don't minimize the cost of that. If you were to go ahead and try to source those today, they're over $2,000 for a set of those. These are just like little things that take to get to restoration levels, right? We have the tick tock tack, we have original AM FM stereo, we have power steering and power disc brakes. We have factory air conditioning, right? Don't minimize that either because this car makes for a great muscle car, when, especially when it has air conditioning. At our age, we love air conditioning because, I don't know, we're just getting old, but we're feeling good. And driving this car feels good, sounds good, looks good, and exactly why it should be in your driveway. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, amazing 442 or 442, however you choose to say it, all right? And if you would, please don't forget to like that down there below and uh, share this with your friends. And subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out every single day. I'll see you on the test drive. Let me tell you something about muscle cars and 442s, 442s, however you want to call them. This car may be one of the best muscle cars ever, ever. And you say, well, Tone, come on. There's a thousand different styles of muscle cars. It's not the fastest. Well, it might be the fastest. It's not the best handling. It might be the best handling. It's not the best riding. It is definitely the best riding. But let me just tell you, this car does everything really, really well. You could ride to the beach in this car like you take your daily driver there, where you might not take a, a Hemi Cuda with all the heat and everything rolling out of there. This car's got torque for days. It drives down the road so nice. It is so comfortable. And now we know why they were called the gentleman's muscle cars because they just drive so beautifully. It's hard to believe that this car is 50 years old, 50 plus years old. We're going for a drive today on a windy road, enjoying the, the amazing weather today. Uh, I got the right product in my hair, what little I got left uh, that blew out back there on turn nine. Anyway, my point is this, is that I'm driving one-handed, windy roads, enjoying the sun and weather, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you get one of these cars, this is exactly what you want to be doing. This is a game changer, man. Shut the radio off, right? Uh, sorry, shut your phone off. 
You know what I say about owning a car like this? That it's a life changer, and here's why I say that. Drive it to work on a Friday, right? Tell everybody you're on the way home. Shut down the feed, man. No more text messages, no more emails from your boss, no emails from the employees, no more, no more feed, right? Cut it off, put on some good music, stream it in there, and do what I'm doing right now. I'm going for a drive, and I am having the day of my life. It is so nice. Angie and I are just going for a cruise. She's filming. I'm driving. She's screaming for her life. I don't really care. The point is this, is that this is what you get when you live life the right way, right? You get a great car. You get great weather. You hang out with good friends. You go for a drive. Like, this is just an awesome, awesome hobby. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you how to get this 442 in your garage. This is just, you could drive this car for hours.